This is fake, people. This is fake. I don't have an OnlyFans yet. What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here, back with another r slash Attorney Tom React. We're going to deal with a lot of interesting questions, I'm sure. Please make sure you hit that like button. It's a huge favor to me. It helps push the video out on the YouTube algorithm. And consider joining our subreddit and or subscribing to this YouTube channel. All right, let's get started. Green screen eye patch. It's not a good idea, but it's mine. Things you could green screen in. Different cartoon eyes, the video sponsors, and a tiny Tom yelling at his other eye to straighten up and feel the burn. That's actually hilarious. Is deadly force justification in this scenario? Tom, you have reiterated multiple times that the use of force, the threat, must be objectively and subjectively real. No, it must be objectively and subjectively reasonable of imminent grievous bodily harm, not just real. But suppose you were threatened by someone with an imitation firearm and you shot them in self-defense believing them to be an actual threat at the moment it was later discovered that the gun was not real but actually very convincing replica since there was no real threat you can still go to jail for that i think the answer might be technically like yes you can but the jury would probably be sympathetic to that situation but i'm often wrong so i'm just asking for your input so listen the answer is it depends your analysis is not technically correct so remember objective and subjective fear of imminent grievous bodily harm just because the gun wasn't real doesn't mean that it automatically disqualifies it from being an objective and subjective threat of imminent grievous bodily harm the test is objectively would an objective person in your situation have perceived that gun as real and say somebody came to you and it, it seems like they checked all the other boxes you know imminent grievous bodily harm they pretended or you legitimately thought they were going to shoot you that fear was reasonable and an objective person in the same or similar circumstance would have thought that was reasonable well then justified lethal force could potentially be okay even if the gun was fake it's not just if the threat was real the threat doesn't have to be real it has to be objective and subjectively reasonable and that is different from real obviously this wouldn't work right how to avoid a dui if pulled over by the police in full view of the police officer exit your car throw your keys down the street immediately drink a pint of liquor now you are legally drunk not driving not in your car not in possession of your keys and unable to prove if you were drunk 10 minutes ago while driving except for the circumstantial evidence that you acted like a total drunk person in front of the police car what they're gonna say is what kind of sober person would throw his keys drink a pint of liquor in front of a cop car and run down the street probably somebody who's drunk you don't need actually to have an explicit blood test or breathalyzer to be convicted of dui I have an offer for attorney Tom. If I make it into the next Reddit video, I will tell my crush I like her. Also, what's the legality of convincing someone to add you into their Reddit videos but not holding up your side of the deal? First of all, I'm going to sue you if you don't tell your crush that you like her. It's already done. The deed is done. I detrimentally relied on you to uphold your end of the bargain. So do it. Or we're gonna sue and from a non-legal standpoint from friend your your buddy tom's perspective man if you got a crush you got nothing to lose tell her you like her Aww. don't live life scared and if she rejects you that sucks but at least now you know and you can move on and find somebody who cares about you because you are a king and you deserve somebody who loves you and very well your crush might have feelings for you too so is pointless go ask your crush or we're gonna sue hypothetical about a lawsuit let's say somebody wants to sue me but before we went to court i invested all my money in something like bitcoins gold stocks would the assets be repossessed if i lost the lawsuit potentially or they could potentially be frozen i know we have done that a few times in my legal career we've had a few defendants try to move money to potentially become judgment proof meaning they don't have any money that we can go after we get a judgment so they move the money to different entities well we stop that so the answer is it depends 
but it is possible. Why is attorney Tom? Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging. Nobody ever asked me, why is attorney Tom? Who wore it better? Oh, it's the same one. Is it a different eye though? Yeah, they're on different eyes. Who is that? Do we know who this is? Is this someone famous? I wore it better. He is going down in rank, boost his famous birthday profile. No! We only have one month until my birthday. July 10th, we must be become the number one lawyer by that time. I don't care about all the other stuff. Number one lawyer. Famous birthdays link in the description below. Hit that boost button. Please? Do lawyers go into traffic court and often try to dunk on the system or do they just pay the fine like the rest of us? So most of the time they're just gonna pay the fine because a traffic fine is probably not worth your time to go fight. I mean, you know, you're gonna spend five hours over, you know, an $80, $100 ticket. So just pay the fine and move on. Fun story, when I was in law school, I got a BS traffic ticket and I fought it all the way. I went and set it for trial. I went, showed up to trial. They set me for the very end of the day, trying to deter me, saying, hey kid, just pay this fine or you're gonna have to be here all day. I said, no, I wanna be here all day. I will be here all day, I'll fight it. And eventually, a few hours later, they just gave up because they didn't actually wanna deal with this and they dismissed the case. But I was in law school. If I got a BS ticket now, depending on how mad I was, I would probably just pay the fine or pay a lawyer who specializes in traffic court to go for me. More than zero likes, so proud of our little guy, TikTok star known for his attorney talent account where he posts legal content and reaction videos. His account gained over 700,000 followers and more than zero likes. Yes! More than zero likes, baby. That's called hard work. Don't give up on your dreams, kids. You can be like me one day. How does having a lazy eye affect you, Tom? As someone who's got a lazy eye as well, how does the eye patch work? Has anyone ever made fun of you, poked fun of you once you became a lawyer? So what's really funny is the people who make fun of me are on this subreddit. And as I've said many times before, I'm actually very lucky. My lazy eye doesn't even really present itself during the day. It gets more lazy as the day goes on. So really from the time I wake up till eight, or 9 p.m., I'm fine. My lazy eye doesn't really affect me, but then as the night goes on, it gets lazier and lazier, so when I'm home, even when it's not 8 or 9 p.m., I try to wear this in order to make this eye stronger. I don't really know how much it's working. It actually helps with the double vision because when my eye is lazy, sometimes it's hard to read. Uh, it's hard to read with uh, the one patch, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but if you met me in the middle of the day and we just talked, you probably wouldn't know that I have a lazy eye. Does fleeing the country make you immune to war crimes? Why are you asking these questions? Theoretically, if you commit a war crime but flee to a country with no jurisdiction over the country of your citizenship where the war crime was committed, would you be able to be charged? Yes, you would be able to be charged. Now, could you be extradited back to your home country is another thing, but that doesn't mean you can't be charged. And generally, just saying, if a country wants you bad enough, they are going to get you and bring you into their jurisdiction. Do the stanky leg, Tom. <laughs> the votes are in. What should Attorney Tom buy with his newly made $259? Audio equipment, pay for the mods. Okay, so they want me to pay the mods. So fun story, even though we've Discord chatted, I actually don't know who Lord is of Jaholt, who is the owner of this subreddit. He created this subreddit before me. Um, he wants to be paid. The other mod is Garrett, who's my longtime mod from TikTok, Twitch, the OG mod. We can work something out, I'm just saying. Maybe, it might not be a lot, but I appreciate the work y'all are doing. So may maybe we can work out some form of uh, fun bonus compensation for helping me out. I'm all for that. I'm gonna link my OnlyFans to this video. Subscribe to OnlyFans Attorney Tom Beat Picks. Oh my God. This is fake, people. This is fake. I don't have an OnlyFans yet. Y'all are good at editing. 
it looks real. If someone set fire to a courthouse, would it be a state or federal crime? I would assume it just depends on whether the courthouse is a state or federal courthouse, but who knows? Well, for instance, if you set fire to a federal courthouse, it very well could be both. Remember, you can be tried for a federal and a state crime. You committed two separate crimes. So if you burn down a federal courthouse, which would be property of the federal government, and you did it in the state, you can be tried for both. There's no doubt in my mind concerning the illegality of this individual's actions. How to deal with rude drivers. Google, be courteous. Bing. <laughs> He's setting off a firework. <laughs> yeah. He's doing it again. Oh my god. I'm going out on a limb. This is illegal. <laughs> oh my god, how many fireworks are there? Oh, he's getting off the bike. Oh! He's running? How, how long is this thing gonna shoot for? Why did that guy get off his motorcycle? I feel like that was the worst thing he could have done. He should have just ran away. That was crazy. Yeah, that, that, that's definitely illegal. Unjustified use of force. All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much. Please make sure you go to r slash attorney Tom if you have any questions. There's still a ton more questions out there, so I'm gonna make more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, consider subscribing. We have a fun community. I hope you had fun. My goal is always to make content worthy of your time. I'll talk to y'all later.